Cone Bonois. Good evening, Pathless. It is I, Logan and Matt Titan, and welcome to episode 39. 39. Episode 39 of the Skyrim Conversion Mod End Roll Forgotten Stories. And we are here in Voice Manor. Right? That's where we are? Yep, in Voice Manor. Voice Manor, which was suggested to me by one of my wonderful. An amazing subscriber is a Lewin. Uh, we're using a mod so that way it makes it so that way we can sort out everything nice and easy, which uh, my OCD absolutely loves. And then we named the. <laughs> I, I thought about it after I did it. Maybe I should have named it a Lewin Manor, but um, I didn't name it after another subscriber, Miss Voice. So that ruffled any feathers. That was not my intention. I just was trying to be uh, nice. I do appreciate uh, anyone and everyone that takes the time to uh, check out my episodes and comment and spend some time with me. So we are in Ark in Voice Manor. If you're new to the channel, those are Roshku and Agajimas. If you're new to the series, Hajime Mashe. And if you're a regular, like Teresa, like Isabella, like. Aluin, like Mrs. Voice, like Clara, Okai Rina Sai. Welcome back. Welcome home. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I did clear out. Let me make sure I'm not lying. I did clear out my inventory. Haha, -ha, 46. I only have 46 weight. Amazing. So we cleaned out the inventory. They just sit on their asses and settle themselves. Hungry for arcane city. The NPC chatter. So some quick things that I noticed. Anything for friends of path abiding. Prim lives here. Prim from the rim. Prim from the rim. That rhymes. I didn't realize that it rhymed. Comes a point. Prim is one of the first characters. We always go too easy on this. I swear to God, with NPC chatter. If I go hide in the corner, can I talk? Prim is like one of the first characters that you. Wait, is that Prim? I don't remember if Prim's last name was Ironhoof. Hold on. Hmm? Oh, are you Prim? Let me see your face. <coughs> uh, I mean, you look different, but we're comparing an Oblivion conversion mod. How did I not realize that his name was Prim? I'm gonna just assume it's a different Prim that they just put that in. Greetings! There. Kind of an Easter egg type of thing. <laughs> I did notice while running around Hear my words, that I saw this. Of this Wanted Max city. Niceblood. The Nemery's house of the Bowden Brooks searches for Max Niceblood. After faking his own death in the rim, he absconded to Enderol and was seen at a farm near Ark's Harbor. Arresting him holds the prospect of reward of 10,000 Nemery's gold coins. Are those pennies? We're calling them all different things. Obelisks, pennies, gold coins. Getting me a little confused here. Okay. Many of you may have heard <sighs> of. I don't know, here comes There's the kids. No! Right no, no more chatter. Alright, back over. We'll, we'll hide back in the corner over here <laughs> to finish up. So we are going to be doing... That's not where you go to see the quests. Um, search Max Niceblood's uh, hideout in front of Ark. I mean, we can, we can do that. I didn't have a specific plan. Please get stuck off the barrel. So why not? We just picked that up. There was one other thing I wanted to show. But also that of the Lightborn Hungry for Keeper of the Writings. The Eternal. Run to speed up this process a little bit. Do 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 If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. My sir. My sir. The new subscribers really haven't had any that YouTube's told me about because YouTube's back to playing that game where it doesn't really let me know. Oh well. Who my new subscribers are, subscriber count is going up consistently. Yes. Which is which is great. But it doesn't most of the time it doesn't tell me. So all the way down, 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 down here. 
is this wonderful new place called Teresa Manor. <laughs> Teresa Manor. So I bought the other house because I had so much money from messing around with the potions. Um, I probably would not be using this house that much though because it's it's fake. Everything's fake in here. For the most part, it's all for show, which is really strange. Nothing. So the mod that Aluin had suggested is wonderful. It makes it so that way, like the stuff in the houses, um, you can actually do stuff with them. I mean, you can do stuff with the stuff in here, stuff with the stuff and things and stuff and things and things and stuff. Holy Jesus! Yeah, you, the this these items in here, the grindstone, the workbenches, do stuff. Here we go with stuff again. Do stuff and things, but a lot of the other things are just not interactive. Whereas in Voice Manor, pretty much everything is interactive, and it just makes it easier for me to sort out my stuff. I did furnish the place, which cost even more money. So there's an upstairs. We have like a little loft over here. We can look down, and it's beautiful. And then for some reason, I'm not entirely sure. This is my hay, my hay loft? I don't know why I have a hay loft. Um, I, I don't know. I can jump on my uh, chandelier or through my chandelier. That was pretty fun. There's no murder basement as far as I can tell. So that's also kind of a bummer. Because you know how much I love my murder basements. Got a last new subscribers, uh, Mr. Mask 64 commented on my Whispering Hills short, but again, I'm not sure if he subscribed. Just a dude commented on my Dusty Roads short. So I always like to shout out comments as well. Um, Infinite Hazard, and then the amazing and awesome Volcaro 145 who is another gaming channel. So if you came all the way down here, there is a suspicious um, Dal Mercer's estate that requires a key, but also there was one of those glowy, wibbly magic things that we're supposed to be collecting over here. So I did want to acknowledge that I, I, I had snagged that in between episodes. All right, so now let's actually go and try to do what this is. We're from Max Nice Blood. Not entirely... Hi, puppy. Not entirely sure what we're hmm? doing with Max. Hey, nice blood. you're an adventurer, aren't you? I am an adventurer. How did you know? Oh, we also uh, blah, 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 blah. we're going to here. Look at our stats real quick. Upgraded the stats because I had learning points, crafting points, memory points. I had all the points, and uh, still working uh, rhetoric and elementalism. Elementalism for fighting uh, and rhetoric so that way we can talk uh, alchemy because that's how I make money and sneak because I <laughs> I never did it before and it's it really hasn't worked but the idea was to be a like a stealthy um, I do have slightly different clothes on too oh he's so handsome Odin son you're gorgeous um, yeah, but sneaking, I just, it doesn't, it doesn't work well for me. <laughs> uh, despite the fact that the sneak is so high. But yeah, if you'd like a shout out, just give me a comment. Let me know that you subscribed. Let me know what you think. I'm always happy to, resp uh, to, to respond even, you know, to constructive criticism. Because I know that uh, I'm sure there's a lot I can improve on. But I am doing my best. Absolutely love this here. I mean, God almighty, it's beautiful. I say it almost every episode, but it's... it's. I think it's one of the reasons, as weird as it is, I always look so forward to playing this. I still, even 39 episodes in, feel like I haven't even touched so much of this game. Like, I have no idea how long the series is going to be, but... I feel like I'm still, it's still new because there's so much of the world I haven't explored. But every time I jump in, what time is it? All right, it's getting to be nighttime already. I did not plan that part out well, obviously. Yes? Yes, my sir. So we'll see if we can do this without too much problem. If not, we'll go back and we'll do a little 
a little nappy nap, a little night night. Right before I started this, I was working on my Dusty Roads uh, series, which is a uh, Fault in New Vegas series where I'm playing Dust as Dusty Roads. It's a little light. Yes. A little light. Where are we going now? I don't understand where that quest marker is. A little light role playing. I mean, I can just walk over there. That's. It looks like it wants me to go back inside somewhere to. We're not going to do that. I don't know where it thinks I'm going back inside anyway. Unless I have to. Do I have to go back inside? My sir. My sir. But yeah, I, we had some stabilization issues with uh, New Vegas because I'm playing on Windows 10 and apparently that's an absolute nightmare. So I was able to, for the most part... Alright, so what? why? Why do you want me to go back in? Couldn't I just... What, what part of the town is that even? I'd rather not. Yeah, I'd ra I don't know I've been in the south quarter. But I'd rather just kind of... Is that blood over there? If so, that's a lot of blood. That's like a whole... Human's worth of blood over there. That's the measurement I'm going to use. A whole human body's worth of blood. A whole meat bag's full of blood. <laughs> Alright, maybe this wasn't the best plan. But this is, I'm sticking to it. This, we're going to do a little swim swim in our fancy clothes. Come up on the beach over here. But yeah, they, so we figured, we, we solved the stabilization issues for Dusty Roads. And... But there were some other slight issues. Things that were bothering me. NPC chatter is a big thing that bothers me. Like every fight, and there's a lot of fights. There's just, it, it just. Oh, you're here. I um didn't know you were on patrol today too. Aye, normally I wouldn't be, but Zawin's wife got sick, so I pitched in for him. How are things? Any troubles? Ah, uh, no, nothing worth mentioning. There were these Killian sailors who got pretty loud earlier this week, but Gilbert and Mira got it under control. Ah, that's Killians for you. Dressed up like some shit-faced artist threw a bucket of paint over their clothes, and always making trouble. Anyway, keep your chin up, boy. You're doing good work. Thanks, friend. I'll see you around. Okay. I always like... As I'm... Literally, as I'm complaining about NPC chatter, Ender all goes ahead and reminds <laughs> yeah. me... It's not as if I didn't tell them that already. That um, they at least tried, oh in my opinion. All right, where does it want me to go now? Well, I'm literally going the wrong way, so that's part of that's part of the problem. But why can't I just go there? Where <laughs> I don't know where it's telling me to go. But those little conversations, I think, are pretty cool. Can I hop over this wall? Yes, I know. I'm not. I'm not doing it the way you want me to do it. I'm doing it my way, through the bushes. Yeah, when is the quest marker going to update? I mean, it's telling me to go here, but then the quest markers. Do I have? Do I have more than one quest on? Like, what is happening? Just, no. We're just... Okay. We're just having some weird... Some weirdness with the quest marker. That, that's... That's fine. That is fine. Alright, we're almost... Try to use the local. No. Local's not gonna work. So we've been over here. If it's saying that he's, wait, what? Now look at that. A little some oh, hi, women. I already killed you. Okay, yeah, so you, you guys respawn. You'll pay for that. I won't. You can't even hit me with an arrow. 
Did I did I pay for it? If so, how much did it cost? How many pennies did it cost me for murdering you and your friend? All right, thanks thanks for the bloody skull. All right, so oh my god, that's where the map is in seventy six. So I'm always hitting that, but it's not showing up on the local map. But it looks like, I mean. I've, I mean, I've, <laughs> I've had some, some difficulties finding places in both Narim, which I have, uh, <coughs> my apologies. If you don't know what Narim is, I realize I'm saying something and then not clarifying. Most people that watch the series probably know what Narim is, especially if you're here on episode 39, but if you don't know what Narim is, it's the, uh, Oblivion conversion mod that came out before this one Which I'm also playing, but I'm much newer at playing. Okay. I mean, I feel like the arrow is saying here So is he in the windmill? Like where is this dude? Is he hiding with the cows? I mean there is a sleep sleep it seems as if the camp was hurriedly abandoned. Okay, read. Walk blessed. Max Knight's blood. According to our agreement, as a show of gratitude, we will grant you shelter in our bar near Ark. Once winter breaks, you can find a shelter in Ark's last watch near the farmer's coast that is abandoned out... Um, is that a mistake? Our art post? I, I just would assume it would be outpost, but it looks, there's definitely an R in there. Um, of the Holy Order, erected to defend the mountain pass against intruders from Thalgard. The Order has not used it in years. Okay. So, he was here. Did that update the quest marker? Where, where are we going now? Holy Jesus. <laughs> okay, and I mean, there's not even really a myriad tower. Well, I guess there's Farmer's Coast. Alright, so if I could get to the Western Wall one, which isn't that far away, we can fly on one of those bad boys over to the Farmer's Coast. Alright, that's, we'll, that's what we'll do. I don't know why the dead body confused me for a second. I'm the one that put the dead body there. Alright, so let's... The Myriad Tower is right... Like, right over there. So we should be able to get to it. Without too much of an issue. Alright, I started saying like 20 different things and then lost track. I, I do that constantly. Uh, so things that were bothering me was... It was the... Uh, the not specifically the NPC chatter, but the combat chatter in New Vegas. Like, it's like I love New Vegas, but I haven't played it uh, that much recently. After playing like every mod ever ever made for, am I messing this up? Yeah, because I don't. I'm not. I want to be outside the wall, not inside the wall. Uh, I've forgotten how annoying some of the combat chatter can be. Where you know. For example, you're fighting random whoever, and they're just over and over again. You like that? You like that? You like the sight of your own blood? You like... And it's just... Oh my god, they just won't shut up. Just over and over and over again. And it's really annoying. Uh, <laughs> even things like the footsteps. I forgot how annoying the footsteps are. You don't hear me climbing on a mountain. Like, but in, <laughs> in it, it's just everything is just crunch, 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 And, alright, so my, is my plan not going to work because I have to hip-hop my way up the mountain? It's this Skyrim. In Skyrim, for the most part, you can hip-hop your way up anything. There we go. Alright. Farmer's Coast, please. I'm going to pet your tail for Teresa. Ooh. Actually, that's the wrong way. If you're like a kitty cat, you'd probably be mad at me. Alright, I'll go the other way. Alright. 
You have a cool little outfit. You look like uh, you're in uh, the Dark Brotherhood. Hey, I need a ride. Hello. Your hair Good is, to hear. Your hair is a Where little, to? A little wacky. Uh, Farmer's Coast, please. Thank you, thank you. Flip, flap, flap, and flap. Oh, I look so cool. Yeah, I like my new outfit that I have on. So, I put on two mods that will hopefully make it so that way they, they just, they say it less. Because it's just, it's excessive in my opinion. The Pip-Boy light, which you know lighting is an issue with me in pretty much every game that I play because I want to be able to see. I want the people watching me to be able to see. It's, those are things that are, I don't know, very important to me. Hey, buddy. What's up? What's up? A Leo. So much to do, so little time. A Leo ran. I know what you call What's up, blue guy? You have a funny little nose with you <clears> chewing. <throat> I love these guys. All right, so we are. I mean, there's a farm right here. I've ne not even detected. I might as well go up and detect this farm. Since there's one. Same shit, different day. I feel you, man. Is that you saying? Walk, that? blessed dear traveler. Oh. You probably don't know this, but unfortunately, the street you're walking on is owned by the Honorable Mysore Croco. And sadly, 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 he himself has ordered that all wanderers must pay a fee so that we can keep the streets in good condition. So please, be so kind and pay. That will save both of us the trouble. This is the nicest shakedown I've ever gotten. If I were you, I consider this carefully. Believe me, a keeper's magic can be very uncomfortable. 250 pennies? There's no way I'm giving him 250 pennies. You really believe that I would fall for that kind of scam? Forget it. Very convincing, but not convincing. Leave before I hurt you. I'm going to go with the first one. Well, well, a keeper? Fine, I think that even Krako would make an exception for one of Malthus's holy fighters. We all honor our path, don't we? Now move on. I was kind of hoping you were going to fight me. Man. Oh, wait, I could commit some murder. I'm just trying to detect this farm. So, Croco? That sounds like a bad guy if I ever heard one. Where's Croco? Honey Brewery at the Upper Farm Discovered. Wait, what is it? Oh, it's a dog. Okay. <laughs> From behind? I did not recognize this animal at all. For some reason, we have a donkey, hee -haw, hee -haw. a puppy, Bruna, and a bunch of chickens. I mean, this is not what we're here for, but I'm always easily distracted. You're not from here, are you? Oh my god. I heard you talk. I do. That's Rufus. I feel like you're being... Do I have an accent? Who are you? Are you Croco? Mm-hmm. No. Where's Croco? Hey, my. Someone's looking glum. Everything all right? I want to know where Croco is. Uh, I just have a lot on my mind, that's all. Well, who doesn't know that feeling? I always try to think of something positive when that happens. For example, how Melfast blessed us with a bountiful harvest, even though there was scarcely any rain. Or the beautiful forest in the heartland. Have you ever been there? I don't, I don't remember where I've been. I get confused still with this map. So, uh, uh, I, I don't remember, so I'll just say yes, I guess. Then you know what I'm talking about. I don't, really. Even the memory never fails to put a smile on my face. I don't know, maybe that also works for you? Alright. Well, you're a cheery little lass, I like you. Is that your wife? Hey, I know you. You run errands for the keepers, don't you? Is it true what they said about that Magister? That he killed 30 novices? I just can't believe it. I'm not an errand boy, damn it. I am the hero of the story. Or I'm dead. I'm not... <laughs> I'm still not really sure. Alright, let's get that blue claw. Ice claw, excuse me. I still say blue claw. Lots of harvesting. <coughs> okay, so we are headed... In this direction, and there's a cave over there. But this is definitely a part of the map we've not been to, so kind of was hoping to run into Croco, Crocodillo, 
we have a little conversation with him. Of course, I am now going out and adventuring at night. But yeah, so I added, uh, I just keep not finishing. Not that it's even probably that interesting, but I did add a... So when you enter in and out areas in Fallout, uh, the, the Pip-Boy light, you know, which is basically just your flashlight, like in here I have the lantern that I added so that way we can see. The lantern's always on. The lantern doesn't turn off. Well, the Pip-Boy lights, for some bizarre reason, which is, it's just strange to me, when you enter and exit locations, they turn off. So then you're constantly turning the Pip-Boy light back on if it's if it's dark or if you're in dark places so I found the mod that does it for me so I don't have to keep turning it back on all right this is interesting it's getting icy okay got some big icicles my son would love this is that a door a floating door? No? Okay. <laughs> what is this? Are you drunk? Come on, you can do better. I mean... Alright, hold on. I don't know what spell I have on. Do I have on the right spell? The, uh... Da, 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 da. I'm not sick, am I? Nobody said anything about me looking looking bad. No, I'm I'm good. All right, what? Yeah, I have I had a feeling I still had meditation on. That's that's not gonna work for me. Can we get Arctic Wind back on? Okay, I hit the wrong button. Not assassination. Arctic Wind, please. All right, there we go. That's as close as I got to a Fushiguda here. Burn in the sun fire. All right, she's a feisty one. You gonna come out? Kra! What happened? Oh, I exploded her. There's that weird bird noise again. Bird drives me crazy. But I can't find it and kill it. Where is the other guy's body? Or his... Or his, uh... What happened? He disappeared? There was two dudes. They both came running out at me. I killed them both. One's right here. Okay. Well, that's... Here he is. Jesus. Somehow I, somehow I missed it completely. Cheese wheels! Yeah, boy! So I fixed the lighting, I fixed the uh, combat chatter, I think, and then the last one was there's uh, radios in Fallout that play like old timey music, but it's real music. So if I don't turn off the radio fast enough, I will get copy claimed. Not copy strike because most of the time it's old music which is license but still I don't want any copy anything on any of my videos a lot of goodies ooh and extra goodies goodies and more goodies and I swear I saw somebody else strolling around down there he didn't want to come and duke it out with his friends I guess so in when I do Fallout 4 mods like Whispering Hills and Killer Frost I have on a mod that makes it so that way the uh, radios don't turn themselves don't play uh, I had to find the same thing for New Vegas so that way I don't have to like try to scramble and find because sometimes you can't figure out where the where the radio is like you enter an area and music is playing and I'm always like oh no oh no the music's playing where is it I can't find it and then I'm running around like an idiot trying to find it I still can't do this but I should have Still getting used to things like this, so I should have, yeah, I don't know why I have either one of these. I don't remember getting those, but okay. I also tried to make sure I had a scroll to teleport to any place I could think of, but we're doing expert, so we're going to do this. Take out my hands and ha! hit the wrong button. 
hit the wrong button again. Alright, there we go. And... Well, that was totally worth it. That was some good stuff. Alright, now make sure I put my correct magic back on. So that way I can continue to kill things since I don't carry any weapons with me at all. Alright. Yeah, see there's one dude down there just just he didn't want to help his friends out. He didn't he didn't really care about his band of buddies. So as soon as I guess I get get within his pathing range. Oh, there's two of them actually. Ha! Oh, I missed. Craw! You missed. I missed. Not gonna lie, it's kind of entertaining that they that they blow up now. Is that everybody? Is that nice claw? Or did it actually sh blow him up so far? Part of him went over here. Yep. Well, that's pretty cool. Anybody else? You know. You go in down, down, down. All right. Now I'm curious what's down, 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 but that's where we're. We'll have to save the exploring. Oh, that bird's gonna drive me crazy. I don't know why I let silly little things like that exacerbate me. So Max Niceblood. He has a he has a silly name. And I don't really understand why we're even looking for him, except for that we found a poster on a wall that says to go find him. And since I missed <laughs> a bunch of times, there's all these extra ice patches. But that was the two. Well, the one and the two. So it's still saying... Oh, it's saying he's over there, but there's... So is this place going to be completely full of bandits? This is a guardhouse. So we're supposed to be going over there, so of course I'm going to go into this one first. To get back to what I was talking about, the rim. The rim, the rim is, is really fun. Uh, <laughs> Finally, <laughs> some no, fun! Um, okay. I do, I do... Oh, you're, you have a name. You fucking scum! Oh, wow. You Okay, I exploded her. That's cool, she only got... Oh, I exploded her too. The ladies were hanging out in here. And now I exploded them. I can't pick up any of their stuff though. I'm gonna end up sitting at even their food is fake? Come on. Come on. I'm gonna end up sitting. And I, I I officially added that to the list of uh things where you have to do shots. You don't have to do alcohol shots. But since I have to be drinking every episode since my esophagus is always irritated, you have to you have to be drinking too, so that way when I you know say things like not gonna lie, <laughs> you know to take a shot, or if I sit down at a table by mistake when I'm trying to pick things up, you do a shot. Alright, so this one I should be able to pick. Maybe. There we go. But this one, can't. Alright, so back to using the spell. And let's see if I can actually hit the right button this time. Alright. The only part about that that I don't like is that I have to then come back in and then re-equip. Now that's a big deal. It's not hard to do. Ooh, a secret book. But I already, I already know that spell. So yes, I kill everyone and I take everything. Those those are the <laughs> those are the rules. I feel like that ends up being uh, what I do in, in every game. Doesn't matter what game I'm playing, I end up being just a murder, uh, an absolute murder machine. Can I have any of this meat? No. Can I have this stuff? No. Cabbages. I can have some cabbages though. 
cabbages. Can I have that stew? Yes, potato cabbage stew. That sounds amazing. I love potatoes. I love cabbage. I know that's not a popular vegetable. At least I don't. I don't think it is. But I, it's, I think I feel like it's it's under uh, underutilized. I'd like to have cabbage in more things. All right. Not much to do in here other than some murder. So we committed some murder. So let's go see if we can find Max. He wants me to arrest him though, not murder him. So I don't know how to arrest somebody. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. Um. Okay. There's nobody here. It's gonna have to steal all his stuff. Cause that's what we do. That's how we make money. Alright, there's another note. So we're just following this dude all over the place. He's he's on the run and we don't even know why he's on the run. It says completed. Dear friend, I observed you looking for me at the barn close to Ark. I know that my cover on Enderal has been blown and I already distanced myself from Kira. This Bodenbrook is hunting me since I refused to share the bed with her. Oh. She looked through my faked death. Trying the same trick again appears futile to me. As compensation for your troubles... I left the content of this casket. Leave it at that. You will not find me. Maybe we will see each other again in a new adventure of yours. Max Knight's Blood. Okay. I wasn't expecting that to be the end of the quest. That feels very quick. And I was kind of hoping to find him. But I guess it wasn't meant to be. And... <laughs> it's because... She she wanted to get down and dirty. Okay, that's... Again, kind of unexpected. Can I sleep in this bed? I can. Alright, well, we're going to sleep in this random cave. For 12 hours. So that way the sun will be up when we go out to explore some more. Get your body moving on the dance floor. Can you dig it? We can dig it. Can you dig it? We can dig it. Alright, so I guess I guess I have to pick another quest then. Um we did make the recipe. Now I know Miss Voice had said don't do this quest until I'm in the order, but I'm in the order now, so I think I'm safe to do that one. Mikalia Support the excavation of old Dothelgar. Those are both like main questies. Uh Mrs. Hoyce gave me some tips about this one, but I, I, I have to look into it more. I found volume nine. I need vi I need volume six. So I just stored it for now because I found volume nine. And I'm like, what? I found. I swear I found all the other ones in order. So wh when I found Volume 9, I was like both excited and kind of annoyed because I want to read it, but not. I don't want to read it out of order. Order. We do have Dust Maggot p Pickles, as I keep calling them. Uh, we have those, but we do not have any of the other stuff. So. We will have to keep our eye out for those in the various locations. I honestly, I think we might just go out and explore this area a little bit. Because you know how much I love just exploring new areas. Swap the mead barrel. I mean, we randomly found uh, our, our held in the Wanderer. Just exploring. I do want to get back to that. Um... I, I gather we're going to find these as we continue to do stuff. Still haven't killed the troll yet. I have, after I screwed up more than once with the hammerbird eggs and accidentally using them in potions, I have now put them in a separate place 
where I store them so that way I can't do that again and we still need to find more wells okay so I'm leaning towards this and we are on the farm at the farmers coast but exploring and hopefully will be a bright beautiful day all right looks pretty good looks pretty good I mean it looks better than pretty good honestly all right so there's a bunch of stuff this way yeah there's just so much but unfortunately where I'm supposed to be going is back that way is there anything behind me uh, there's like w one thing behind me um, I gotta go this way though. I just, it's calling me. It's saying, come, come to Butthead. Come a little closer. Come to the light, Carolyn. This just looks. I thought I saw something. I'm seeing things now. It's very folly. Very autumn. And there's just mushrooms everywhere. So peaceful. And then all of a sudden, then there's that bird. <laughs> there, there he is! <laughs> I called it. Oh. Is that a, a different Spriggan? so pretty there's something else down there can't tell what that is there's some elk um all right well that's all right uh, are you a sexy spriggan you're kind of cool looking whoa golden frost matriarch I would have let you be. I don't know why everybody wants to fight me all the time. Oh, there's a pretty dope looking statue down there. I mean, I'll leave the sexy spriggans alone. They leave me alone. There's those weird wormy things there. It's making me think of Whispering Hills, which is one of the Fallout 4 mods that I'm doing. Uh, it's like Silent Hill and fault four mixed together it's very scary I die a lot um, another expert chest damn I need to get my lock picking up or just keep I guess or just keep buying scrolls it's, it's fine yeah, but those, there's the, what are they called, what are they called in, in uh, Whispering Hills, like Brain Eaters or something? And they tunnel underground and then they pop up and attack me? They're really annoying. Really, really annoying. And, the, and they're, so they're hard to fight and they do a lot of damage. Family Crypt of Dalmark Discovered. Okay, that's a giant, that's a giant spear you have, sir. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Not harvest any of those. Deer, deer, deer. Lots of deer. What is this? Is that another spear? I can't pick up the spears though. That's kind of a bummer. I'm also like getting like a feeling like I shouldn't be here for some reason. Oh wait, what? Whoa. Fighting, whatever you are. Yes. No, please don't. No. Why you gotta squirt juices on my face? Oh wait, now. Okay, now I'm being attacked by deer. What is this, Grim? Why are you making deer attack? 
That is kind of hilarious that I leveled from killing a deer, but okay, I'll take it, I guess. I'm normally happy to leave the deer alone. Okay. Another statue. Are we, I mean, clearly people are here because there's, there's signs for different places. Thalgard, Heartland, Borix Farm. I don't recognize this flower. Netherland Thistle. Oh, that's one of the special ones. That's why. Okay, well, I got one. Look. Wait. Two. Three. I don't even remember what I'm... Three? There we go. I don't even remember what I'm collecting that for, to be honest with you. There's a ladder up there for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. And I'm like, I feel like I shouldn't be here, and then I'm just gonna, like, pick everything up off the land, take everything from it. It's a very human thing of me to do, right? Take something beautiful and harvest all the resources from it. Can I get in here? Is there, is there an in here? I can't really see. So yes, there's, there is an in here, but I don't really think there was any reason for me to do that. But I don't know until I try. Alright, so we see that I passed some more of these. We're getting some cotton. I was thinking about it's gonna sound like such a weird thing to say uh, you know the saying wait one cotton picking minute I just had like a weird revelation uh, the other day I, I haven't googled it yet but I was like oh that's probably has to do with slavery or something because what it sounds like to me it's not something I ever say I mean I just said it yes but I mean it's not something it's it's was that called a collo colloquialism colloquialism All right, let's go over here and kill this pus beetle before he surprises me oh I I killed him already. did you did you just die was oh there's another one you guys are very unattractive. But yeah, it was just one of those weird things. Like, I've definitely heard people say that before. And I started thinking about it, and I was like, oh, that's... Alright, so where... Oh. Okay, there's a whole... There's a... There's a lot going on in this little area. There's... There's a lot happening here. Ah, and see, I am, and we're going to grab that in a second too, I am re rewarded once again for exploring. Thank you, Enderall. Yeah, I was saying, so there's random uh, conversations between NPCs, and so far they've all been different. It's not like you get the same conversation over and over and over again. Like, again, I'll pick on my favorite game of all time, New Vegas, and, you know, this, the NPCs are always saying, uh, you know, the, being in the Mojave makes uh, makes them wish for a nuclear winter. It's just they say it constantly, and it gets to the point where it's just like, oh, please don't, please stop saying it, please don't say it anymore. Uh, so Enderall has a lot of NPC chatter that I dislike specifically in the towns, but then when they have those. They are like two NPCs just walk up to each other and just have like a nice, nice casual conversation. That I do really enjoy. Alright, so what are the point of you bad boys? I don't know. And I do kind of want to go in there. But 
then we found this feels like it's leaving because there's the there's the stat the giant statue but yeah this and that that all looks very interesting I'm gonna see if I could we had found the, the path let's see if I can find that path again There's a door over here. How did I? How did I miss that? Is there something glowy over here? Or am I seeing things? That's just light. Well, there's a. Well, there's an ice claw. I was. Wasn't I just down here? But it's underneath the statue, so I, I wasn't at the right angle to see it. Apparently. Ice Claws give you uh, more carrying capacity, so they're good. Alright, we can use... That actually got me right back to over here, so we can use this... Little ramp over here to climb up and see. And it's just giving me like a very, like, very... Uh, I don't know. Almost like Lord of the Rings-ish kind of vibe for some reason. Oh, okay. You're new. Okay. 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 Please die. Alright, you're strong. I get it. Mr. Lich. Mask of the Fallen. Robe of the Tribunal. Okay, it looks very cool. I mean, we're gonna be taking all his stuff, but I was not expecting whatever he was, because we've never even seen him before. Put your hands away, you silly goose. Alright, so what where is this his house? No, I can't get in there. Alright, we are we to expect more of him? Oh, there is a door. Fortress Golden Frost. Okay. Caves. Okay. Then there's a wall in my way. Well, you know how I feel about walls. <laughs> Alright, it's not working this time. Dang it. Alright. Well, huh. I mean, I do want to go in. Don't get me wrong. Is there a way for me to hop around? Oh. Uh-oh. So I say there is side effects to me uh, jumping around like a crazy person sometimes, and that was almost a good example of uh, how do you get into this building? Getting myself stuck somewhere. Oh, what's up? This is I'm for sure not the way that you're supposed to get here. <laughs> So we found like the back door, and then this is the front door? Maybe? Yeah. <coughs> Keep saying it. It's silly because uh, my cough is like 99.9% .9 gone, and I'm fine for the most part until I start recording an episode. I think it's just because I'm just talking so much that my already irritated esophagus, which is fine when I'm not using it. Alright, there we go. Otherwise, it's just like, why are we not detecting this place? 
just gets irritated. Okay, this place looks very big. And I don't know if it was a better idea for me to go in through the back door that I discovered or in through here. Or if we should be here at all. But I kind of want to go in since we're here. I mean, it's just, it's just too tempting. Excuse me, I, I, I had to get my hands. Okay. Right, I don't know why my other hand isn't doing anything. Alright, there's, there's a lot of skeletons in here. This one got crushed. He's like, ah, I got crushed. She can't. What? Where did... Why can't I take any of this stuff? Who's shooting at me? Excuse me. Okay. Why? Why can't I... All this stuff is not real? And where are the... Where are the... Where... <laughs> I'm so confused. Where... Isn't that it right there? I was going to say. They don't normally have that much on them in the first place, but... Hold on. Sheesh. Yeah, I can't do anything with these skeletons. I can hip-hop my way up these crates, though, that's for sure. What was going on in here? What were you doing to each other? Okay. What's up? Ha! How many of you bros are there? I'm missing him. He's a lord of the lost ones. All right, will you come to me? I'm I'm busy. I'm busy collecting stuff and things. Can you pass to me? Oh, there's there's a lot of enemies here. So you're just like regular old skeletons. Grab all your goodies. Hi. But he was the decayed one. Thank you. And some extra goodies too. There you are. I was wondering when you were gonna come join me. You took forever to pass me, sir. He had all kinds of cool stuff on him, but unfortunately, I didn't get any of his cool stuff. He had, like, a cool hat. Kind of a bummer. Alright, so how did we... Oh, okay, so up and then down. This is just a big, just a big empty room with the most random stuff ever. Okay. Kind of weird, not gonna lie. Yeah, why did he take so long the path to me? I mean, I was I was not particularly hiding. Again, can't do anything with these wagons. This look, I guess there was a war of some sort, a fight, a battle, I should say, between. Uh, Maybe two different factions. I mean, this guy's got... He's got an axe in his head. They went through... Read the letter. Okay, yes. Maybe this will help. My dear fellow Severick, I am writing you 
A few last words. The path might separate the both of us so that we don't have the opportunity for a conversation. I see you afar. When I look down the river, I move into a room into the Tower of Wellwatch. I see green fog rolling in the valley. I know that you will hold Golden Frost to the last man. Therefore, I give thanks to you. And believe me, I would rather be down there than in these dizzy heights. The smell of insanity crawls through every chink. How friendly these valleys seemed to be back then when we, in the process of emergence, wanted to gift the inhospitable east to the people in the name of our holy lord. How ecstatic we were by this coarse beauty and didn't we put in a little bit of elbow grease and good spirits, building stone by stone. First Golden Frost, then Well Watch, and finally building the mighty Thalgard to the skies. How gloomy it appears to me. Here, where the sun comes late and goes early, and where I see darkness approaching. Didn't we want to see? Were we blind? What did Dalmar do? It doesn't matter anymore. Thalgrad will fall into darkness, and we will follow soon. We won't leave Golden Frost anymore. The Shadow Pass will be overrun, and it won't be long until these beasts will burst through the gate into the valley. I didn't get a message by Hale Malfus City. For two days, I assume the worst. Nobody might manage to keep behind the mountain passes because the path is closed by the ice of winter. Yet the cannon beats still din to us from Thalgrad, but the rotten winds already blow down our strong castellation. How sparse they avail us now. Two, maybe three days left. Awful guises were seen bloated and insane. I executed the command to demolish Well Watch. If we should get overrun for us, dear Severick, this means stay here until our way ends. Tomorrow I will let bring cannons, powder, and munitions down as much as I can do without. Stay strong. I think of you. I'm saying farewell, Severick. Path abiding until the end. Your good, loving friend, Vico Iron Puncher. Man, the names. Iron Puncher. That's awesome. Nope, I just kicked something. The order. To Severic Bahrain, gate guard. Report, Thagrag has fallen, Dalmark is missing any trace. They closed the Shadow Pass, but I still assume some of our brothers are behind the walls. May Malthus let their souls rest. The men of Fort Wellwatch are forearmed. If this epidemic, this extosis, extosis, I don't know that word, whatever it may be, reaches Fort Wellwatch, then Golden Frost has to be hold under any circumstances. I will leave Wellwatch to support Garrick. The commandership is now in the hands of Arkin. The gate cannot collapse. Don't rest. If you see the slightest evidence of clouds, immediately report back to Arkin. Vico Iron Puncher, Commander's Office. Alright. So it's Vico Iron Puncher again. Alright. So there are... Lore around. So I have to be... Alert. Make because I don't want to miss anything. <clears throat> I had not seen any, and now all of a sudden we found a couple things, so I don't want to miss anything else. So we know what happened here. I'm not sure who was attacking, though. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I have 93 lockpicks, so not as big of a deal as it was when I only had a couple. There's a lot of stuff in here. Nothing mind-boggling. I love getting the extra stuff. Can't get anything from that Skellington, even though it clearly has stuff. I can't have it. I can't have any other stuff. So was this Severick? I don't know. I like how they took the the paintings and they like covered them in in moss like they were overgrown. All right, I'm just going to backtrack real quick just a teeny weeny bit make sure I didn't miss anything else. I don't think we did. All right, 
Alright, where does this go? To the Alright, so when it said caves, is this is this where that was a turn and shield. That's cool. <clears throat> is that where uh, the if I had gone in through, I would have came in? That's what I'm guessing. No lore, though. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. It does not look like we did, because we came in here and we went up. So we could have went up, down, or to the left. We've now gone all those places. And now the only option is to go up again. Oh. All right, that's going back outside already. <clears throat> Why would I... Um... All right, screw it. I, I, don't, I don't know why we're going back outside, but... So this did not co connect to that uh, back door. That we uh, encountered that lich-like guy. Oh, no, it... <laughs> Never mind, it did. It just... We didn't go through the door. Okay, but... <clears throat> why can't I get to the higher places? Yeah, I kind of wanted to... <sighs> Alright. Well... I guess that's all we could really do here. And it's getting dark again. It's not even... It's it's lunchtime. Why is it getting dark? This says caves. Where, where, where does this one go? There was that lower one that said caves, but now this says caves. So now I'm, I'm a little perplexed. Wait, someone's there. I am. Where, where are you? Ha! Who got you for this? Look at that. Alone some traveler. You should come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh. I won. Ice versus ice, but I won. Well, I mean, I was using ice and electricity, so that's probably why I won, but... I can do some forging while I'm down here. I realized I did some uh, mining and I didn't go, ooh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Come on. There we go. Just a reminder. I don't. I don't know. Remember the uh, kind of the origins of Ooh Yeah? It was just something silly that I did when my son was watching that made him laugh. So that's why I still kind of do it because it still kind of makes him laugh. Some sexy, sexy mining. Okay. So, it's just going to be a cave full of uh, marauders, apparently, I guess. And just a lot of junk. <clears throat> it's very quiet. There's like this light kind of like thumping. If you listen closely. Almost kind of like a heart beating. Oh, I knew I was talking about mining. It was like, what? You didn't go, woo, yeah? Well, here's your chance at redemption. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Sexy, sexy mining. All right. Nothing. Kind of looks like there's something behind this crate. Like, it looks like there's a little path back there. What the heck?
Alright, you know how I am with this. Curiosity gets me every time. I'm just confused why they would put. No. It just looks like there is, but there isn't actually anything there. I'd rather look and satiate my curiosity than ignore it and miss out on something interesting, possibly. Okay. I mean, we technically did complete a quest this episode. My, my, my loose rule is that I like to complete a quest an episode, and we did technically complete the uh, the nice, the max, nice blood uh, mission. As silly as that is, I mean, it's it's uh, it was like bizarrely easy, but all right. So where where are we going here? Why are the caves more intricate than the uh, fortress was? What's up? Fine. Fun. Damn you! Just a you fucking scum! You. Oh what? That's what I thought. You couldn't even get over a rock. I'm supposed to be scared of you? You're living in a cave. Cheese wheel. I couldn't even see that. So I'm not sure if there's any reason to be murdering everybody in this cave. I'm glad there's not like a sanity meter in this like there is in Frost and <laughs> it does because I'm pretty sure I would be insane in the membrane for just going through these uh, dungeons and just murdering everybody to death. So I guess that was their front door I unlocked to come up here and say hi and kill them. Surprise! You're dead now. Wait, so I came up, and then I went, but there's also whatever this is. So there's more. Okay. Black powder. I don't know what I'm doing with that. No! No! Oh. Ah! I'll take the powder, I guess. Well, you guys are just standing up here? Like, doing what? Why are you just standing up here? Just keep warm by the fire? Alright, that's nothing. I mean, they did have some cheese and bread, so I guess I guess I get it. They're just up here having a little sandwich. Cheese sandwich. That was my jam as a kid. Mirror equip. White bread. And if I was lucky, because a lot of times it was just mirror equipment and white bread. I might have some of that cheese slices. Mmm, mmm, mmm. No wonder I grew up so healthy and strong. <laughs> in, case I, in case I hadn't mentioned it before, uh, not that I am well off. Any stretch of the imagination, but I, I was uh, quite. That's a trap. Quite poor as a young man. Alright, I mean, this, this place just goes on and on. Just, it's, it's very mazy. And you know how I feel about mazes. Uh, Princess Dalmeric's grave. Okay. Um. Why? Why? Why do I want to go to her grave? Do I want to go to her grave? I kind of feel like I don't want to go to her grave.
All right, now now I've like completely gone around in a circle, I believe. So there's golden frost. There's her grave. Right, I guess we're going to her grave. I don't know why. I don't know what what for what purpose this serves. But I feel like we've come too far not not to go pay our respects, I guess, or rob the place. A little bit of both, maybe. Is that her? We have more more lore. My beloved, my dear, too soon you departed my life. Rest here and await me. I will follow you. Okay. If that's her, she was pretty. Is there, is there totally just a dude standing over there? Are you are you paying your respects too? I came to pay my respects to the the princess. Is that okay for me to come up by you? You haven't acknowledged my existence yet. You're gonna attack me, aren't you? Are we cool? S R. SR Terra? SR Terra Tyra Tyra? I don't know. Um Hi. What what? Okay. Well that was very confusing. I tried to talk to her and everything. Increases your health, lock picking. Oh, that's cool. Sneak. Okay. Why? Why? Why did? Why does everybody attack me? I mean, was she guarding the gold? Is that what what the deal was? There's, there's nobody here. I found a treasure. But the princess is not here. Is anybody... Malthus? Where's the princess? Does anybody... Does anybody know where the princess is? I don't... I don't know. I didn't take her. I, I blame Esarita or whatever her name was. Okay. I don't know. I don't really know what just happened. I can't even pay my respects. Uh, I thought we were we were, we were we were chill and paying our respects, and then I got attacked. Had to commit some murder. And well, then I robbed the place, of course, because that's that's what I do. Um, but then the princess's body's not there. So. No, now, now I set off the trap. I didn't set it off when I went by the first time. Excuse me, I don't, I'm just trying to get by. So. Alright, hold on. How did I mess up? I wanted to go... Yeah. Keep going up. I wanted to go to that Golden Frost exit that's all the way up here. Let's see where that takes me. I keep saying Frost. It's, it's forced. Forced! Like borscht. It's the worst. Okay. Um There's just so <laughs> so much going on here. I uh okay. Like 
who took the time to build all this stuff? Am I supposed to be going, there's stuff that way. Well, I came from down here. So now I'm like, but I, I came from down here, but not, I did not walk across the planks. And no way I would do this in real life. Just, just no. I have a, uh, like a deep, like, uh, I don't even know, a uh, primal fear of heights. Like, paralyzing. Alright, so, I mean, what, what are we doing here? I don't know what we're doing. Cliff Diving Grotto Tomb. Okay. Sure. We'll go into the Cliff Diving Grotto Tomb. It's a lot of words. I don't I don't know what I'm doing. Backpack of the Adventurer, Gate Key. That seems useful. Thank you, Adventurer. Anything else? You got any other plunders? Alright, there's a little path this way. We can do some more sexy, sexy mining. There was a gate back there, so I'm going to guess that's what the gate key is for, is for, is for the gate, but I don't know, things are... Things aren't always uh, logical in Enderall, so that makes sense in my head. Woo! Yeah, but it doesn't mean that that's actually the case, because we can just... All right, let's go back to the gate, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, all right, so we did have the key, thanks to the dead adventurer. And, alright, well, more skeletons. Alright, why you gotta shoot arrows at me? Shoot arrows at me! I'm gonna blow you up. That's how, that's how it's how it works. Uh. Okay. Oh no. Trap. I set off another trap. I did. Oh Jesus. My poor lockpick collection is. Getting smaller and smaller. I do have that in-depth spell, so if I just can't get this for some reason. Oh my god. Remember earlier on I was put I was putting points in the lockpicking? <laughs> I stopped. And extra goodies too. Alright. So this is already confusing. There's multiple choices of places to go. I mean, is this right back to where we were it is okay so I didn't not all right so not that confusing so there's just two ways to get here I could have came down this way or came down this way and then this is the only other way to go so I'm sorry that we're not doing a quest but I'm be in the fire swamp keep setting off traps Oh. Okay, it's another one of them guys. Alright. So we're starting to encounter more... ...difficult dudes to fight. Ha! Alright, this says... ...Maruk Darkhand. So is that, like... ...does that mean he's like a boss? I hope he wasn't a boss, because 
I just wrecked him. I just absolutely wrecked him. Yeah, he could. He, there's no way he was a boss. I mean, he seemed boss like. He, I, I feel like he had a name. But I froze him and blew him. I killed him faster than I killed some of the just the lost ones. I have no idea what what we're doing though. It's it's it still bugs me out that these areas are so much bigger than the fort was. Like I thought the fort was going to be big. Can I reach him from here? Ten. I'll be down there to. Oh, I can't get. Where did the other one go? Where are you hiding? Ha! Like I can still see you there. I can't get to you though. All right, hold on. I'm coming down. I'm coming. Hold your horses. Excuse me. No. I love that I can freeze them. Oh, he was... Wait, I just got two! That was two for the price of fun! Alright. Oh. I do not have this key. That's, if we can't find that key, that's going to be kind of a bummer. Because we made it this far in here. How does, where is that other dude? How is he? Did I miss a way to get to him up there? Maybe I misinterpreted. Was there a way to go left over here? There was a way to go left over here. Ah. Hi. Are we are we not fighting? Did you forget about me? Oh. Well, hello, hello, lever. Or lever. Whichever way you prefer. I don't really have a... I normally say lever, but I really don't care. So it said we needed a key. I don't think we need a key. I think we need the lever. We have picked up so much stuff. Oh my god. I've been cleaning out my inventory for like an hour. Again. Alright, so we got him, right? And yeah, I'm gonna guess that's opening the door? Not sure. Let's pull it and find out. It sure did. Whee! I don't think there was much else to grab in here. Right, we got this chest. Yes. Just some pots. Some more pots. There's nothing I can do with those pots. Some more pots. Somebody really liked pots. The interior decorator. An excessive, excessive amount of pots. Cliff Diving Grotto Sanctuary. Sure, sure. Whatever you say, boss. Sanctuary it is. Alright, there's a dude down there. Can't jump any higher. And I fell, actually. Oops, Daisy. Alright, we're going... To a treasure chest. How did that one miss? Oh, that one missed because... Oh, how did I get him? Alright, what do we got? Oh, that guy's got red glowy eyes. Okay. You're... 
fire. I'm, I'm everything but fire. I still froze you. All right, well, he had red eyes, so I thought he was something special, but apparently he was not. So, okay. So, more treasure chests. More expert locked treasure chests. <laughs> I said, I'm glad that I brought a fair amount of these with me. And a massive chest with, again, a bunch of stuff. Nothing super exciting. I mean, I, I've been keeping all of the gems and things. I have so many gems and things. That I, like, I don't even know. That didn't work. I fell. I don't even know what to do, do with them. I have so many. I mean, I'm just storing them and keeping them. Because, like, what else would you do? But at the same time, like, I could sell them for sure. But, like, what's the fun in that? I just want to hoard them. Let's collect them all. All right, where did it say I was now? Well, I immediately a pissed off friggin' or a golden horse matriarch. Excuse me. I mean, I'm really not trying to fight. I swear. Hey, who? What? A oh, two of them. And I leveled again. That's the second time. Alright, so I'm going to have points to distribute in between episodes as well. But, geez louise. This place is massive and complicated and, not going to lie, kind of confusing. And I'm not, I'm just exploring, so I, I don't even really have a a reason for being here specifically other than to explore I don't know what what we're building here all right now I'm not trying to go back in there it's just I was just coming over the sea I mean, it looks like people were here at some time oh there's totally dead dude so yeah there definitely were people here because their bodies are still here so who we got here? A highwayman. So there were some highwaymen, and I'm guessing the Spriggans wrecked them. Well, apparently I have a new base. I I mean I guess there's other parts of the fort. I can detect. So there's lots of things to detect around here. Which that in itself is exciting to me. There's one, two, three, four, five, six different things that are showing up on the compass around here. So I'm thinking I'm going to run over here and do just a teeny weeny bit more looting. And then we will, we've got beds. So that's convenient. We have workstations. So we can, uh, I'm not really going to be doing much with the workstations, but we can grab another ice claw. Thank you. But yeah, I guess we'll save it here. We'll wrap it up here. And then that way we'll start the next episode. Uh, I'm sure Mrs. Voice or Lewin will be kind enough to tell me uh, I'm sure I, I'm sure I've either messed things up or I'm not supposed to be here or 
<laughs> or something. Because it feels like this place is really cool and awesome, but I, I just... I don't know what I'm doing here other than exploring. I should probably leave, but I, again, the explore itch is strong. Is that, is that a ice monster over there? That is 100% an ice monster over there. An ice uh, golem or elemental. I don't know what they call them. I can see them now. The water is really loud as always. Right, right over there. Almost possible. But for the time being, at least, we're safe. We can save it here. And we will pick up next episode. This has been episode 39 of the Skyrim conversion mod. Enderall, Forgotten Stories. It is wonderful and beautiful and magical. And again... Even though we technically only completed one quest, I had just a really great time exploring and just checking things out because that's what's so wonderful about this this game. I, to me, at least, I, I don't know. I really enjoy it. I love it. Um, I am Logan the Mad Titan. With all that being said, I bid you adieu. Goodbye and good night, Pathless. Thank you so very much for watching. Please consider subscribing. Have a good night.